Oh, what's up, guys? Welcome back for some glorious main today. Oh, yeah, you know what it is. It's a wheelix week. It is continuing. We are doing. <laughs> ah, well, there's something that he was doing. Dying to minions. So, yes, we are doing a wheelix week. Today is a wheelix jungle. And, you know, I got asked a very interesting question. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Oh, nope. Huh. Well, you know what they say minions OP. Especially early game, thank fuck for that. Yeah, they look like a very, very bad little scrub. And that was First Blood, the Hebo's Death County for Jack Shep. So, you know, I got asked a question in one of the other videos. Someone by the name of Mimi. They might have just been stopping through. They might be a new sub. I don't know. But they asked, what is your obsession with a Wheelix's great ass? And I'm going to just kind of let it be known, although it should be fairly obvious. It's pretty fucking great. I enjoy looking at it. It helps my enjoyment when I play her. It gets a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. But the view helps, you know? The view gives you... It's like an added bonus, you know? Like, plus one damage, plus one defense. It just powers you up somehow, you know? I can't really explain it, but it, it encourages me to play a little bit better. You know, gotta protect this, we ass. And that is it. That is the obsession. It is pretty fucking good. I enjoy looking at it. I mean, why not be obsessed with it, you know? How could you not fucking like that? Are you some sort of fucking weirdo? Look at it! It's fucking good! You should be looking at it, you should be obsessed with it. If you're not, I am disappointed. But I know there's a lot of pervs out there. I know they're subscribed. Do you really hide it with me, boys? And girls, I guess. You're not so secret secret is safe. You can be obsessive. It'll be alright. If you're one of those kind of prudish types... Oof. Try to think of something nice to say, and I honestly can't think of anything. I guess it sucks to be you. That's the nicest thing I can think of. Ugh, I, I couldn't imagine being a prude. I mean, where's the fun in that? So this is a bit of a older recording. Not super old, but oldish, because I still decided to go warrior tabai over reinforced graves. Reinforced graves maybe would be useful, maybe not, because the Zeus and the Ratasker without hard CC, the Neath does have hard CC, the Summer Kong's hard CC, only really is Tiger's Thun though, and the Gebs only got his ult. Like, it's not a base ability that's quite scary. Like, Ymir, base ability, quite scary. Athena's base ability, the taunt, quite scary. They basically scream reinforced graves. Ratasker Zeus, ah, not so much. I'm actually quite a fan of Ratasker. Every time I've played him, the game has went exceptionally well. Like, really, really hard in our favour. So, definitely pretty good. This should be a free kill on the Geb. Will I get it? That is the question. No, I will not. Tex OP. And then the Shibo. No, the Shibo is fast. Like, the Shibo can lift, but then he lived as well. I really, really, really wanted a diver, but without any sort of defence, let's not play at risk. I probably could have killed her, but. I need to jump in, 2 alls, flip, 3, guaranteed to kill, but would I get out of tower in time? That is the question. I don't think I would, I think it would have been a 1 for 1 trade, tower OP, so I thought better of it. But I guarantee you I'd have got the kill, because her... I don't know if her flip was on cooldown or not, but she was out of mana, so she wasn't flipping. Oh well, she came out, okay, so, no wards people, this is what happens when you buy no wards, it's a free kill, because she's out of mana, and there it is, easy peasy. She did lose a little bit of HP since the last time I've seen her, but, yeah. I didn't want to risk the tower death. I don't want to look like a fucking scrub and feed. I fed my support game, I'm not going to feed in this game, I'm fucking keeping that in the back of my mind. I'm not some dirty feeding cunt, that's not me. I'm an honest and non-feeding jungler who likes to stare at a wheelix's like ass and obsess over it. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's just who I am, I can't help who I am. I just can't. I wish I had seen her, it's funny, she has got a really good taunt. But not for me, for the people who are watching me. Like, I don't know why they couldn't change the view or give you free camera. It's just, I don't know. It's not the same. They had to go obsessed again, but what can I say, you know? It's obsessed worthy. Yeah, we'll go with that. That makes sense. So, when I look at the enemy team, there's a lot of easy picks. This is an easy pick. Rat isn't. Neath is relatively easy. Somi Kong is sometimes easy. But definitely the easiest picks, definitely Zeus, Neath, and Geb. Geb is actually surprisingly easy to kill. Like, Geb is a risky pick early game. Man, I can't believe I did not finish that fucking buff like a scrub lord. So, we're going to go the kind of standard route, which is... In fact, I did say there's... I think there's one build in this game that is just... 
straight superior than all the rest in terms of what it offers. And I will do a video on that, I think. But I'm going to go something similar to that. It's not exactly how I would do it. In fact, one guy did actually guess pretty much exactly it. And it just threw a lot of like pondering and build optimizing. You might not have the absolute maximum defense. You may not have the absolute maximum damage. But if you fight a full damage hunter or a full defense warrior, like the way people build Bolon on the SPL, which is basically just Mr. Camille, Runeforge, Frostbound, Boots, fucking everything there is easy peasy, some of the said he's not too hard because his ult does take a lot of time to go up and I can usually interrupt his three, usually. So, yeah, they build like fucking full defense. Is it Runeforge, Mystical, Boots, Frostbound? I usually get like a Spirit Robe or something. And I forget what the last name is, but you just basically shit tons of HP and physical defense. You will actually trade that. Like, straight up. I lost that kill by jumping one Suku, but I thought he was going to run away. Did not expect him to help. You can actually outrade that with a build. Usually, how I'd go, I think it's the best build. Because you will do surprisingly more damage to them. And since they've got absolutely no damage or pen you will actually take very little damage because you're still going to be quite bulky as well. So you'll feel tanky to them and they'll feel tanky to you. It's just you'll be hitting a little bit faster and hitting a little bit harder and their HP will plummet faster. No difference is they may be able to escape because they're still super tanky. It still takes a little while to get the kill. But you'll outrade them. You will absolutely outrade hunters and of course, pff, what's your mage? I mean, mages are easy. You outrade them. It took a lot of experimenting but it is, it's just better. It is just such a fucking good build. You have HP, you have protections, you have attacks, but you have pen, you have additional damage in some other item, and sometimes you have kill and sometimes you don't. So yeah, anyway, we looks like we'll be coming to an end soon. There's only going to be two more videos, I believe, after this, and then that'll be us done. I am pondering what the next week's special will be. Right, obviously we're going to do like two or three weeks of just whatever the fuck, right? All requests, bring them in, I'll do whatever the fuck you guys want to see. I'll show you how I do it. But, it's important that when it's over, what am I doing for the next week's special? I'm probably going to ask at the end of this week, and I'll let you guys have a say in it. I think that's fair. We're all pretty fucking glorious here, let's share the glory. You guys can drop me some recommendations. Personally, I'm tempted to do a recommendation that someone else gave me, which was, let you guys pick. I'll do the seven most popular gods, or five or six, or however many it ends up being, but we'll cover a week. The five or six most requested gods, and we'll go for that. I'll just put like a poll down or something. No, no, that'd take too long. I'll just let you guys see who you'd like to do. Look, it's a Zeus. Oh, he beads and he ages. What a clever little Zeus. Takes OP though. He beads, ages, and ulted, and he still died. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would not be happy if I was him. Holy shit, I just beat Aegis ulted and I still died. And you know, you can't even blame the right tasker, he has no hard CC. That's like... It, you can see how easy that was, if I threw up he was dead. Rat... Oh! Okay. Rat Tasker is one of those gods that I really, 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 really love playing. Kind of like... Ravana. I love playing Ravana. I'll do Ravana soon, because Ravana is awesome. Like, he's the best god in the game that you don't play. That is exactly how I would describe Ravana. He's amazing, but you don't play him. My new Ravana build includes Jotun's Wrath. It's very, very similar to what I consider the best build in the game. And it works surprisingly well on Ravana, right? Also recorded some big juicy Kabroken, or Fat Loki, whatever we're calling him now. I really think Fat Loki's an insult to Kabroken. He's so much better than that. We should just call Loki Little Kabroken. I think it's got a better ring to it, you know? Because Kabroken is just... He's actually pretty fucking good. I'm surprised people aren't playing him. Yes, I play him in the jungle. I think he's just fucking good in the jungle. You should see the kind of damage he outputs. Holy shit balls, it's so high. And he's quite tanky as well. The only downside is he really needs blink. And you you really You need to get it. But it means you're limited in a lot of times we want to aggress because blink's in such a long cooldown though. In fact that's the best way to screw blink. It's still fucking good. Just you don't have it when you need it a lot of times and it kind of fucks with you. So I don't know if the buffs in there are good or not, because Blink's obviously still good, but sometimes you wish it was something else because of how useless it is at times. So there's a little fucking Summer Kong here, but he's not really a threat. Look at that, 4 stall, nice and easy. 3 ults down, I've still got mine. 
Sylvanas has still got his, but Sylvanas might die. He did panic early. Oh. Oh. Pull. Beautiful combo. Flip. And he's dead. He went for his Tiger Stun, but like I said, the flip does fuck with his free. I did say that earlier. Summer Kong is surprisingly easy to kill if he decides to re-engage because you do a lot of damage. I got to be one of the fucking a Wheelix's damage. In fact, I'd say Wheelix's elegant damage is better than Thor's. I know you're going to be like, what? No, no, it is better than Thor's. It is. It just... See when she flips over you, man, that fucking stings. Like, see when Thor double taps, you're like, oh, wow, it's quite a chunk. But see when she flips, it's like, fucking hell, because it's just that fucking big. So yeah, we're going to go into the good old fucking Fizdy. The reason for that is Geb is not a mage that is, you know, a guardian that is scary. And I have no respect for Zeus. His ultimate is not a big, rah, you die all day. It's basically just for amplifying his... Is, which do hurt, like you say, he's do hurt. He slows annoying, like he's got a decent kit, a high damage kit. He doesn't have a scary ult. I only get magic defense if you get a scary ult or scary base abilities. So, free kills this, bye, free kill. <gasps> nice shield, still dead though. Yes, free kills this is what we're calling him. This is a Geb he's trying to escape. Little flip, little flip. Oh, the pull was beautiful. I would tilt that, but he died anyway. But I still get the taxi boost, I still get the purpose, the chunkage ticks. Dex! <sighs> it's a big damage here as well. I really want to die. She just flipped and I got a lot of minions. That screams dive to me. It's a bitch. I said, Sup. Where was you? Dirty kill steal little slut. Take my kills. I'm in the jungle this time. I genuinely. Yeah. Just kidding. I don't care. Uh, so that was the go through to me. Go through look pretty good. Nope. Nope. Mids. Ah, well. Fair enough. I guess technically she won't look it as dead, but we could have went gold. I still want to go gold, but. The Zeus and the Sylvanas, so I'm not interested. Come on, go Fury. You just can do it, boys. You can do it. Go Fury. Nah. VVGT. I could have called it. Could have said something. They're dirty, filthy sluts. Don't worry, come help me take a free go Fury. And that was free as fuck. Like, that's as bad as what Paradigm done the other day, man. Fucking just not taking the free go Fury. Fucking painfully watch. I do watch the SPL. I actually always tend to do videos on it, but. I've not. But the Paradigm vs Fnatic, Paradigm should have won the game 1, they were ahead early, they had so much free opportunities to take shit, and they were just paranoid to do it, I don't know what the problem is, but, man, whoever's their fucking coach better get on that. And look, it's free kill Zeus! Thanks, free kill Zeus, I appreciate the free kill. He's a mage with no escape potential, like, <laughs> there's not a fucking mage in the game that isn't a free kill, basically. And all the ones that have got really, 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 really good escapes are just that, they're annoying little fuckers that I've just ignored. Like Yanis. Fuck you, Yanis. Nobody likes you in your million escapes. Have you seen full cooldown, Yanis? That is not fun to gank. Because you don't get anything. He just always escapes. You need to be lucky to kill that shit. So we're going to go back, get Mailer No, get Max CDR. This aim is getting nerfed. I only situationally picked up anyway. Would I still pick up? Oh, that's hard to say. The thing is, the thing that made it so good. For me, anyway, was the 15% uh, CDR rather than the 10% just to get that max out of it. It always felt a little bit nicer, you know. Right now, I think it's going to fall back out of popularity again. 15% healing, but it only provides 250 health, which isn't boosting the healing that you get, which is what helped make it so good. If they reduced the physical defense and kept HP the same, it would have been a lot better, in my opinion, uh, in terms of viability of picking up them. But 250 HP. That's not a lot considering you only get 40 fizz out of it. I think Spirit Road might start to rise again or people might just be happy with 25% DR. I mean, I'm quite happy with 25%. It just... It works for me. And I think I just said CR instead of CDR, which is cooldown reduction. And look at my little aliens. Hey! Now I'm going to get called a fucking alien obsessive because I zoomed in on the fucking aliens. Not those type of aliens anyway. I mean, maybe certain kind of aliens, you know, the ones that look like humans, but they're like blue or some shit. Oh fuck. See, I said I'm a, I said I'm a bit prepared for it. I, I'll admit that. Openly. I have no shame. Fuck your shame. Sub Zeus. Free kill Zeus. Oh, he beads, but I thought Geb anyway. I'll fight you in your ult. Not anymore. Nope, wait. Cancel that. Come fight me. Come fight me. Are we getting Zeus? Are we getting free kill Zeus? Don't let the Zeus escape, you slut. I can't believe they get away. I think we could have killed them now. You can see this is old. See if this is me doing this again, I'd have fucking dived that. I'd have dived that knee failure as well. 
Too fucking passive here. Not getting enough kills. I guarantee you I got both of those kills. They were out of mana completely. Maybe I'm just waiting on Frostbind to make my life. You know, Frostbind get the stick so I can chase down the kills. Yeah, that's pretty squishy. Mm. We've got actually belong, yeah, but I'm feeling it. <sighs> that pool was beautiful. Cannot complain. But I didn't get a kill. That kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. My ult's about to come back in. Even though we just used it. All because the max CDR, man. It is good. Sub Zeus. How you doing, boy? A little flip action. Oh, you can ages, but you're still going to die. That hunter is quite fucking good to himself, and he? he secured two of those kills. I know you're thinking, isn't it good for Sheep Long to secure kills? He gets his passive meter up. Fuck his passive meter, I want gold. AD carry. Not like he carries anyway, I'm the jungle I carry. Oh, what's up, rat? Flip. I love that. It's so fucking good. What are you doing? Run, Sylvanas! No! I don't know why he's just standing still. I think he got rooted by me. Oh well, poor boy. Look at look how fast that opens up. That's so fucking good. Honestly, she's a top five jungler for me. And for the record, Ravana's a top ten jungler for me. And a lot of people are gonna call me out on that, but no, he's he's that good. You just if you forget how good he is, it's just awkward for me to play him sometimes because I play with sometimes a lot of people that need carried, and well, Ravana does do a lot of damage and he does one v one exceptionally well. He has no real hard CC, and the people I play with, oftentimes, they may babysit them. Like, they're ex some in particular are extremely passive to the point of frustration, and they're terrified to put any damage on board unless the target is like locked down for a solid five seconds. So I usually do all the work, CC everyone, protect everyone, and you know just be a general fucking god. And then finally they'll hit them with their damage, and then they're like, look at that, I've got a kill on the greatest! It's like, no, I, I did absolutely fucking everything for you to do one fucking stupid thing. <sighs> but, you know, that is the life I have chose to lead. Oh, what's up, free kills this? How you doing, free kills this? Oh, you dirty little slut, you came and stole the kill. That, you dirty rat. Oh, what's up, Sun Wukong? I said you're an easy kill as well. I stand by that, but... Your level is pretty good, I guess. I still feel like I can get him. But I'm leaving it to my- oh, he's behind me. But I'm still leaving it to my team, I believe in the team. I want this guy. No, fuck off me. Fine. Come on, you got to kill him. You got to kill him. I got- oh, jumped it all. Maybe you've got immunity frames on your too, people oftentimes forget that. I'm disgusted with my behaviour here. I should be chasing these kills. I should be diving that shit. Look at my HP, I've got like- 45%? 50%? Dive that shit! Go on you fucking coward! Dive! Dive! What a fucking pussy I am. Can't believe I got nothing there. That is fucking some shitty place. I saw the Sombra Kong behind me but I knew he was weak. So I just left it to the team thinking easy peasy. But that's not how it goes. I should have turned around and just taken the free kill. Even though I thought I could still get a free kill. And then I should have dived and I didn't. Like. That's a lot of misplays there. They were free kills, but our Sylvanas wasn't feeling the engage with that, and he's a Sylvanas, he can't really just like dash in or jump in. He's he's more of a walking god, like you'll walk up. So if he's not got a blink, he ain't gonna do anything for you. So yeah, there's nothing really that Sylvanas could have done there, but I should have dived that. That's free kills. Looking back on that, that was bad play. They were there for the taking. Absolutely guarantee it. This is not a good game. You might think, oh, your score's really good. Yeah, the score's good, but my score's always good. But the play was bad, and that's what counts. The score means very little. What matters is what you do in the moment, you know? There's three kills there, why are you not taking them? There was a free Phoenix seller, but why didn't you take it? These are mistakes, these are big mistakes, don't make those mistakes people. You know, my channel's all about trying to make the, the randos of the Smite universe. Does that make sense? Fuck it, we'll go with it. Less shite at the game. So when I decide to solo queue, I get people that are somewhat capable. That's all I really wanted. If high res won't fix their stupid shitey matchmaking system, I'll have to make the player base better by giving them better builds and helping point out where there's obvious mistakes. Right now this is an easy kill. It's Neath, she's no tier 1, I'm a Wheelix, what's up bitch? If she flips she gets pulled and she dies. I've already said this before but I'll say it again. A Wheelix just kills every hunter. 
Yes, even Apollo. Someone brought Apollo. What would you do against Apollo? I would kill him all the same. Doesn't matter who he is. No difference is Apollo could maybe all the way. Maybe. Because people are going to say, well, you know, if Apollo's not got a leap, he's got a dash. The idea was you put someone in lane with him that's got a knock up, and the Wheelix herself still technically has a knock up. Maybe hard to apply, but it's still a knock up. So, you would still get him knocked up. The only difference is, would he be able to get out? He would try to mess me, but I've got immunity from him, so my two, I'd probably flip it, or try to. The only thing he's got going for him is he's ult, because if he dashes away, I'll just jumbo after him. Easy peasy, and continue the chase, right? Huh. I was actually not bad damage for free. But then we've got the little Savannah seal. So, yeah, there's not a single hunter that I think can beat her. I think she just beats every hunter. Killing just straight up. In fact, there is one. And it's probably a strange one. I think Artemis can maybe beat her. But that's purely because Artemis could maybe get a lucky crit. And she's got full CC immunity in her ult. Oh, what's this? Is that a free kill, Wukong? Yes, it is. Farewell. Am I gonna dive that shite? I better fucking dive that. Yeah, that's the old me. That's the me I fucking love to see. Fuck that little squirrel. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, get back in there. Your one's about to come back up. Get back in there, you dirty pussy. Get in there. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I was really bad at the game at this point. That was a free kill again. I think it's the fact there's not enough wars on a bit of But that, that was bad. That, I guarantee you again, that's a free kill. I didn't know I was this sloppy in this match, fucking hell. It's supposed to be a Wheelix week, it's supposed to be the best of the Wheelix that I've got. Or that I was lucky enough to record because I've had some fucking good games. But sometimes, I watch it back and it's like, was I really that bad? Yes, yes I was, because that was fucking brutal to watch. Like, I'm not usually as bad as that. So the build's coming along fine. Boots, Jotons, Mailer No, aka Defense Aim. Frostbound, which is Hybrid Aim. And then I usually like to get a little bit of attack speed. I usually go exec, and then I usually finish on one last item, which is normally kin size or rage. But I've taken to enjoying kin size. In fact, there's something I was gonna bring up. I've really taken to a couple of new hunter builds, and well, it doesn't have the raw damage of the crit. It has raw consistency and tradeability. I've been going for a kind of weird pen build, usually involving an early exec beat stick. I usually go. Start rating, boots one, finish boots, exec beat stick. Now you're thinking, where's your lifesteal? There is none, because lifesteal is based on the amount of damage you do. Early game you don't have damage, therefore I don't bother. It works particularly well on gods like Neath and Uller. Because they both have heals anyway. Uller's got an exact stance, Neath's got an R2. And it does a surprising amount of damage. And the beat stick really helps you trade. Like people are not expecting you to hit that hard. Exec beat stick strips pretty much every bit of defence. Everyone's got in the early stages easily. Oh, that fucking raw damage! That's disgusting. This is a hard god, people. And of course, beat stick is an anti heal, allowing you to trade that much more effective. If they did go early life steal, because obviously a little bit of health back still counts, and it could be the difference. So knocking that down forty percent, that's pretty good. In fact, in one build, I can't mean how it went. I know about transcendence. I get beat stick, I get exec, I get boots. I went a really weird build. I hit Fire Giant and I had some buffs and I managed to get my power up as a hunter, remember, to 654 on a hunter. I remember your A is skill 100% of your physical power and I had lots of pen. Like, my, my, I was non cretin for like 500. I'm close to it. I know that makes absolutely no fucking sense thinking about it. You've got 600 power, but obviously you need to hit your exec procs to kind of strip all the defenses to get close to your true damage. Um, and of course there's still auras and shit as well as strip through. But I was hitting so fucking hard. Without crit. <laughs> it's so fucking disgusting. Cause like it's not like every every like every other hit was a crit. It was just big damage, big damage, big damage. Obviously that's with fucking buffs though and transcend buffing up my numbers. But I've kinda taken to just like raw exec exec beat stick, frostbound, fucking aims like that. And just Every hit being big, like big hit, big hit, big hit. I don't need no crit. It's just big hit, big hit, big hit. The frostbound, the beat stick, help you box. It's funny how I'm talking about fucking hunter bolts in a Wheelix video. Nothing else to go on though, you know. Nothing else to be fucking mentioned here. It put in a lot of work. I'm not saying it's better than crit. Fuck, I don't think any bolts technically better than crit. But it was surprisingly good. 
and it was outboxing crit, so that's good. But that's purely because I've got items that counter what they do. Like, you can put an each of in there, so you can take, like, each of So you go boots, exec, beat your stack, each of Well, that's frostbound. So that means you've got anti heal pen, anti power pen, which is each of which is attack speed, exec, which is pen power, attack speed. And you got your boots, obviously, you can get any boots, it doesn't really matter what boots you get. And that gives you one more item left now, you're going to say, well, you could get lifesteal. You could, but you could also go without lifesteal. That'd be kind of interesting. But if you had to get lifesteal, you could always just get the... What the fuck do they call it? The fucking HP aim, just because it gives you more HP, go with your fucking big juicy... Oh, flipping over the gap, the big juicy frostbound. But it does a surprising amount of damage, it was fucking nasty. Like... I don't know, I just think crit's kind of cheesy. Cheap. I'd rather go non... non-crit. So there's a Wukong, he thinks he's going to kill my little squishy mage, but instead the Zeus is going to burn his ult for no at all reason, and take the kill. Easy peasy. And then there was two. Rat is hungry, Rat is getting nothing, I've got Frostbound, bitch. Neef, you going to flip for me, girl? Yeah, get back here, bitch. I'm not done with you. The ass is hungry. For some Neef. That's my kind of nickname. For the Wheelix. The ass. It's got a nice ring to it, isn't it? I'm no longer obsessed with aliens, we're back we're back on track, people, we're back on track. And they throw in the till 10, 0, 11, 26, 15, 65, 55. Good idea to have sex, we're getting at least a Phoenix out of that maybe game. Obviously Geb is gonna revive, but he'd be the only one up, so it probably should have still been game. But yeah, a lot of sloppy mistakes for me there. Like, no gonna ruin that, they were sloppy mistakes. And if you spotted those sloppy mistakes, you're probably better at the game than you realise. Because they're the kind of mistakes that I see in the SPL and I think, man, they're so fucking bad. But then I just see myself doing them. But then again, don't I get away with it because I'm just some random scrub. What's their excuse? You know, they're getting fucking paid for that shit. So, guys, always enjoy this. Thanks for watching. And as always, feel free to leave some suggestions down for the next week's special. Go as you want to see and all that shit. I'll see you all next time.